up, what up, DD fam? Pulling into the HQ because we got a date with this thing. We gotta waste no time. Get the 488 build underway. I gotta get the car registered and most importantly insured. Now we're not gonna have a problem with the 488. It's well within my budget. So there she is. We've got the key right here. We're gonna do a little cold start with the 488. Say goodbye to this car for a couple of days. My cars are insured in a corporation that I hold in the province next to the one that I live in. Cause these cars are all commercially insured. They're all used for business use, for production use. So there's special insurance that I have to have. So this car has got to go to Alberta because it's not a brand new car. It's got to go over to Alberta and it gets a full inspection before it gets registered and insured. We have transport waiting just at the bottom of my driveway. We're going to get this car out and into that transport. But before it goes, I want to ask you guys a few questions. Now, if you remember, my old OG 458 wide body tire slayer. And if you don't, I'll refresh your memory. Here's a little image of it, some video. This car had Liberty Walk over fenders, a Liberty Walk front splitter, or Liberty Walk rear splitter. And then it had some OE Ferrari race parts. Ferrari Challenge rear carbon fiber chassis mounted wing. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. And so at the back of this car, we want to obviously incorporate that all over again and put that chassis mounted wing in here. We are going to have to find and source a racing wing for this car. I have to take this car down to the bottom of the driveway. We got our transport guy waiting for us. So right now what I want to do is I'm going to do a little cold start, but I want to know, should I stay with the Ferrari racing chassis mounted wing? You have to cut a couple of holes in the bumper right here so that it, some slits so that it can come out through here. It's a full real deal chassis mounted wing, the one that they use on the race cars. Instead of the challenge wing that we're going to do this time, we're going to go full GT3 wing because that wing is a bit wider. Now, I got the challenge wing and I thought it would be wide enough, but I felt like it could have been a little wider to my old car. And so we're going to go with the, the wide, big, big, big wing this time. And we have the racing mirror. So it's a lot of work. A lot of people don't realize that the racing mirrors get mounted actually higher than the OEM mirrors on the street car. So when you shave this off, you don't mount the race mirrors in the same spot. They actually go right up below this line. And if you do get them off, they have this like little swoop to them and they won't look level. They'll look kind of droopy. We don't want that. I remember obsessing uh, over all the details of building my last 458. And I'm going to obsess over all the details for the 488. So my question to you is, should I use a Liberty Walk wing or should I go chassis mounted race wing? I could quite literally build this car identical to my old car, but there's new options. One of the new options is instead of doing the Liberty Walk over fenders, which essentially you cut this part of the fender out and you drill holes and you bolt with exposed hardware, the over fenders, and that's why they're over fenders they go really over top of the stock fender and you cut the bottom of the fender off you can do that or i believe liberty walk now has a complete fender replacement but it's a different style kit i believe it's like the called the silhouette kit or something like that and it has a bit of a different look but it is still a wide body so i need to know from you guys do we use the updated kit to do the liberty walk wide body and then do the chassis mounted wing or do i do a full liberty walk style kit and then at the end of the day do my old racing prototype camouflage livery over it, which starts to make the car look really different compared to what it looked before. It hides a lot of the lines. I do want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the build of this car. We're building it together. Step one, obviously we do need to uh, get this car registered and insured. We got the 720 GTR project still underway. We have chassis mounted wing. I'm excited. Update on this car is the 720 GTR has new wheels coming. Sometime the end of next week, they'll get shipped out. So I'm excited because a big portion of the wheel is all carbon fiber. Little hand. Cold Here. start on the 488. These turbocharged engines have such a different sound when you first fire them up. And then of course the baffles close on you right away. So it's got a cold start, but it's not quite like as loud and ear piercing as an NA cold start would be. But we'll fix that. We will fix that. When this car gets back, I will be ordering whatever you guys say in the comments below. The majority will win over fenders or the bolt on replacement silhouette style uh, with none of the rivets or do I also go with a Liberty Walk style wing, like the Duckbill or the new style wing, or do I do the Ferrari GT3 race parts, OE race parts from Ferrari, along with replacing the mirrors with the race mirrors? Lots of decisions to make. All right, guys, here we go. Even though 
turboed, Ferrari does it right. They still make it sound like a Ferrari. Because that sounds nothing like the McLaren, I'll tell you that. 488, time to take you and get you all ready. There we have it. She's off to get the full inspection, get all the insurance done on it. And I can't wait, we can get this thing slaying tires on the street. This thing sounds good. Engine sounds pretty, pretty good. Even stock. They make it legit sound like a Ferrari, which is pretty amazing. Like it's got the specific tone to the exhaust. Like that, we'll see you next time, Tire Slayer. Until next time. She's back! The 488 made the trek all the way to Alberta, passed the inspection, of course, and now is good to go, registered, and will be insured in the next, well, tomorrow. It'll be all done. I'll have the paperwork. We can plate it. I think I'm gonna put the revenge plate on this car because it's gonna be revenge of my 458 build. Now, today's mission is to have a little bit of fun. I don't always get a chance. You guys see these videos and they always look really fun. It's a lot of work, to be honest. And today, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna take the 720 GTR, which is sitting on snow tires. This car has snow tires. We're gonna take these snow tires and we're gonna try to put them to use. We're gonna leave this car here. Dave will be back in a few days. Dave, we miss you. The Squadra Corsa misses you. We could take this thing out into the snow. This would be epic. It's not even lowered. And all we need is some snow tires for the 19 inch wheels. It would be good, good, good. So let's jump in the 720 GTR and go pick up Anthony. We're on a mission to find some beautiful white Canadian snow. Hopefully nothing icy because icy is like concrete. I've had a couple of incidents in the past taking cars in the snow and hitting ice patches and destroying parts of the body. So I don't want to do that. I love this car. I love all the Vorsteiner carbon on it. We want to keep it in one piece. Gonna try to find a little bit of fluffy snow to play in. Park I'm wearing is not just for show, it is actually significantly colder out. The temperature dropped in about a week. We even have the pool cover on. Still easily put a car in the pool. So let's hope it that through winter, when this gets icy and cold, none of us slide a car into the pool. That's actually a legitimate concern. Bad whips! What's going on, dude? What up? Hey, you know what we I can see from my balcony? What? Snow. I know. It's in up the, mountains. the mountains. mountains. We can go find some? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, looking up in the mountains, just up past the clouds there, guys. I see snow. Woo! Let's go find it. The Clarence Snowmobile. All right, here comes the hike. Limited visibility ahead. Oh, we're going straight up the mountain now. How far till we hit the white stuff? Oh, we ran into that limited visibility, but look what else we ran into. Snow! Our first signs of snow. We're gonna keep going with the elevation and see if we can't get into where we can actually drive in some of it. Down to three degrees, you guys. And look at this. Incredible, dude. Right? Absolutely. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Fun fact, story time. One of the things that started Daily Driven Exotics was when I got my Gallardo, it was a dream of mine to put snow tires on that Lamborghini and take it up snowboarding. So, that's what I did. I got snow tires and I drove up Mount Washington on Vancouver Island and took it snowboarding. And what was crazy was in the beginning of the day, it was a pretty normal day. By about 10.30 in the morning, the snow started to fall and by about one, it was a full on blizzard. Amazing. And I have an amazing shot, which I'll put right here, of my Gallardo in the snow, just buried, driving around as I was about to leave the mountain and head back down with a skier in the background who actually came by and was like, he literally said to me, you're the craziest person I've ever seen in a vehicle up here. And that's how DD was born. I was like, I wanna drive this car in every season here in Canada. And where I lived, we got it all. So it was the extreme. It was not something that Supercar owners, uh, well, that was that eight and a half years ago were doing. It's funny, we've come a long way because now you see snow videos, you yeah. see donuts, you see people driving supercars in that more aggressive daily manner since the last eight years. Because yeah. before that, there was none of that. Well, we found our first spot to get a little glimpse of the 720 GTR in a titch of snow. 
It's not a lot, but it's enough to look cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I love it, man. Welcome to winter. Welcome to winter. Looks sick. Doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. Probably awesome. More, probably more muddy than it is uh, snow, but let's go find another spot. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got? <laughs> Road hazard. <laughs> Road hazard. Tree down. <laughs> this All kept going. Down. guys that was it for our mission of snow not as successful as i'd like but we found snow now we're going to give this thing a little bath get a little coffee and we're going to talk about the tire slayer updates on the tire slayer the build is well i don't want to tell you i wonder what kind of damage we've done to this bad boy she's probably pretty dirty we're about to find out how'd we do oh oh yeah she's pretty dirty all in behind the wheels we got lots of Got lots of little skid marks and dirt. Oh yeah, daily driven right there. Yeah, lots of road grime on this one. All right, we'll give it a little rinse off so she looks respectable again. Look at all the little nooks and crannies that McLarens like to hide dirt. All right, we're gonna go with a little pre-soak action. Back to presentable fashion for the Woo! DD fam. And an update. So the Huracan has been completely built. Everything's on it. The new Forge Carbon's on it. The new wheels are on it. It's lowered. And you guys are like, well, why haven't we seen the build process? Because I want to reveal it as it's done. We're going to the next level. Right? Didn't we? Absolutely. Did. We go to the next level? Yep. Yeah. No, done yourself. Car's going to be down about a week-ish, depending on what we can get all done. So excited. I know. I'm excited too. I don't think they're ready. I don't think the DD fam's ready. I don't think the world's ready. The, or the world. <laughs> world goals. <laughs> this is so obnoxious. Okay, I know, I know, right now, you guys are complaining. You guys are wondering, why don't you show us just a little bit of the Huracan build? Okay, I think I will. So in the next video, I have to go all the way to Vancouver. I gotta drive through all those summits again, probably in snow, in a blizzard, uphill for four hours. I might be exaggerating. Just to show you guys a little glimpse of the car. So I think we could probably do that because I need to go meet Dave in town in Vancouver in the next uh, two days. I gotta do some stuff about the wrap. So we were gonna paint the whole car and the process of that was just gonna drag out everything by about three weeks. So I figured since I have a black car, why not I just wrap it in the meantime? So I picked some crazy colors and I have to go see them in person, do a little final touches on the design. So we have a really wild livery coming for this, this particular build. Nothing we've ever had before on the channel. So it's not gonna be orange, I'll tell you that. It's not gonna be red, and it's not gonna be fuchsia. That's all you need to know right now. So there's your first hint. And I'll show you guys the beautiful forged carbon fiber that Vorsteiner's teamed up to give us. By the way, it is no longer cold out. Starting to get a little hot in this jacket, so we're gonna take this off. So in the next video, you guys, we're gonna need to do a little update on the Huracan, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna need to make some decisions, order some parts for this car. We're gonna have to order the wide body kit. We're gonna have to order the Ferrari parts. Those usually take a few weeks. We're gonna have to get wheels. Now wheels are what set this whole build off. Of course, these wheels aren't gonna work and they're not gonna do. In the meantime, while I drive this car, I think I should probably take these wheels off and powder coat them. What color should we go? Should we just go simple and do these in a nice black, gloss black? 
probably a thumbs up. I don't think that's too much of a, a conversation over the wheels, but I don't love silver wheels. So we're gonna do black wheels, I think. And I might have to do a little livery. A meantime, like an intern livery. What do you guys think? To get the parts for this car and start building it, it's likely gonna take four to six weeks. Then we gotta get to the body shop. In the meantime, we can do something fun. Like I did with my uh, F12. I did a satin black roof and I did that stripe across the hood. Now that won't work on this car, but we can do something fun. Give me some comments. Let me know what you guys think below. Smash that subscribe button. You guys wanna see the updates on the Huracan. Will happen in the next video. And then we're gonna be starting to put in a hoist and we're also gonna put in a lounge in the video probably after that. And we're gonna start working on cars right here in the DDHQ. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Forgot my coffee. Damn it, Damon, did you really? Did you really? I get caught. Ah, oh, lift up. I got caught with the lift up. Shame on you. Damn it.